All right, so just arrive. Maybe wiggle around onto your sitting bones. Just remember the ground always has you. Just be rooted, grounded. Good morning, Ellen at home. So if this is uncomfortable for your hip flexors, you can always prop your hips up a little higher here. Reach the crown of your head proud, come into your breath. Maybe take a hand to a heart and a hand to your belly, feel the lungs expand. Feel the belly expand. And then deflate the belly first. And just come into your breath. Sometimes we wake up and the day gets a hold of us. You can always be right here. You can breathe through your nostrils or you can breathe through your mouth, whatever is comfortable for you. See if you can smooth out the breath so the inhale is the same length as the exhale. take this natural breathing for granted. You can even constrict the back of your throat and feel like the ocean sound. Two more rounds of conscious breath here. Gently release your hands on top of your knees, palms up or palms down, whichever you would like, and drop your chin down onto your chest. And bring it back up again. Just do this a few times. We often uh, sleep with a real weird kink in our necks. That might be just me, but if it's you as well, just warm up the back of the neck, hold it down, and then roll your ear to your right shoulder. And then down through center, like a little U shape, over to the left shoulder. And just go back and forth a few times. Good morning, John. Happy New Year. Last time. And then lift your head back to neutral and just hug behind your shoulder blades. See if you can bring me a beautiful inhale and spread the shoulder blades apart. And then exhale, let it go. Just feel your scapula moving apart. Keep going here. Shoulders will lift, shoulders will deflate. If you can give your hands a little extra and pull the scapula apart here. Maybe drop the chin. So inhale, fill up the back of the lungs, spread apart. Either through the mouth or through the nose, two more times. Last time. Beautiful, release your arms, take your right hand to the side and just stretch over. See if you can bend your right elbow a little bit, come a little bit closer towards the floor with that hand and push off your right hand, change sides. Wake up the side body, keep the shoulders back, push off the left hand and just go back and forth. Try to incorporate your breath here. Again, like a wave, inhale, exhale. You have a whole minute here, just go on your own with your breath. Keep your sitting bones grounded.
You're getting a nice side body stretch. Try to make the exhale here and the inhale up and through. Maybe each time get a little lower with that elbow to the floor, a little deeper side stretch. And give me one last one here. Beautiful, and take it up, bring your hands up and bring your hands on either side of your right knee and just fold your heart down towards your right knee. Get this nice left side of your back sensation here. And then reach your hands up and over to the other side. I'm just gonna turn the camera around. A lot of sun happening right here. There we go. Fold it in. Nice stretch in the right side of your back. And then bring it all the way up. And let's flip it over into a child's pose. You're gonna have your knees nice and wide, feet together. Knees can be the width of the mat. And bring your thumbs and your fingers together like a little diamond. Elbows also out to the side and rest. And again, I just want you to relax your hips here, back towards your heels. If this is always um, kind of a challenging position to get comfortable in, a rolled up towel behind the knees can help you. Let your elbows be heavy, let your head be heavy. Let your heart sink down towards the mat. Now come back to your breath. Three beautiful rounds of breath here. You can do the Ujjayi breath, ocean waves. Last round of breath here, and then we will gently make our way a quadruped all fours position. So when you're ready, roll yourself forward. You can bring your knees back in to right under the hips. And let's drop our heart down towards the mat and look forward. Curl your sitting bones to the ceiling, arms straight. And then exhale round, push the belly to the sky. And then push the booty back towards the heels. So reach your seat back to the heels. And then let's come through again. Come through cow. And come through cat and sit back. And just flow here. Keep going. Really trying to make that beautiful angry cat feeling with the back all the way rounded. And find a sweet spot here for the light. Very bright in here. There we go. Keep going. Use your breath again like a wave moving through that position. The inhale is here. As you look forward, the exhale is in your cat. Three more times. Try to spread the vertebrae apart. Two more times. And last one, and we will meet in our quadruped. And we'll go to our first down dog today. So when you're ready, lift your hips and take your feet out all the way to the edges of the, of the mat. So nice wide feet. You can even be off your mat if you'd like and lift your hips up, bend your knees, and just stay with that beautiful flat back. 
So really focus in on your back being lengthened here. Your sitting bones reaching where the ceiling and the wall meet. Beautiful. And then as you wish and as you can, incrementally start to straighten the back of the legs. Just don't compromise that nice length of back. Find your breath here, find your arm strength. Draw your shoulders down your back, out of your ears. And again, find your breath, three beautiful rounds of breath here. Nice and long inhales. And then we'll gently walk your hands back to your feet. Keep your feet wide. and enjoy a forward fold right here. Your legs are as wide as it's comfortable for you. See if you can straighten the back of your legs here. Torso is draping forward with absolutely zero effort. Gently walk your hands out, back out all the way to plank, and then bring your feet parallel, hip width, and you're in your plank. If you can feel like you're pushing the floor away through the arms, your hips are behind your shoulders, your core is on. And again, come into your breath, push your heels to the back wall. Reach the crown of your head to the front wall. Three rounds of breath here. Might be getting a little quivery in the arms. Two more rounds of breath. Last round of breath. And then we're gonna bring our knees to the mat. Bend your elbows, release your toes, and come down all the way nice and slowly down. And we're gonna be in Cobra. So your hands should be under your shoulders, legs along, and just start to peel your chest incrementally off the mat. So your elbows stay tucked in, your shoulders come back, your legs are relaxed. Two breaths here, make it long. If you can, maybe see if you can lift your hands off the mat and check you're using your back. You may lower your chest a little, that's fine. And then let's push back to down dog. Lift up, parallel down dog. Parallel feet. Come up high onto the tippy toes. And then push your heels down to the floor four times. Three, two, one more. And then walk your hands up towards your feet and stay in your forward fold. So you've got nice bent legs. You're draping your body down. Crown of your head is reaching towards the feet. Ragdoll here. We're gonna to come to a flat back, hands onto the shins and straighten the legs. So there's your half lift. You're trying to aim for maybe 90 degrees. See if you can squeeze the shoulder blades together here and then fold and bend. Back down to that fold. And let's stretch up one bone at a time and reach the arms up to the sky. Ooh, beautiful. Interlace your fingers so that you have pointer fingers to the sky. Like so. 
and a side bend to the right. Bend your knees a little bit, make sure you're not locked out in those legs. Inhale, center, and go to the left. Beautiful, come up center, release your arms, and flat back down until you can go no further, round down, hold it down. Go back in your rag doll, bent knees. Come up flat back, inhale. So your hands can come to the shins, onto the quads, wherever they need to be here. Get the nice length and back, uh, back, back of the legs. And then exhale, fold, ragdoll. And roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Reach the arms up. Interlace your fingers, point your fingers to the sky. Side bend to the right, soften your knees. Side bend to the left. And it up. Bring it forward. Flat back until you can go no further. And then round. You're just folding it in here. Knees are bent. Ragdoll torso. Inhale, flat back. Try to look forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, exhale, round and fold. And last time to stand up all the way, reach the arms up, interlace your fingers, soften your knees, side bend to the right. Inhale, side bend to the left. Up center, swan dive down. Hit the floor, bend and round. Come up flat back. Exhale round. And put your hands down and let's meet back in plank. You can jump your feet back or you can just walk them back to your plank. Beautiful. Let's come down onto forearm plank. Elbows come down under the shoulders. Three rounds of breath here. Try to tuck your hips up a little bit. Keep those heels firm to the back wall. One more round of breath. And come all the way down onto the knees, into your sphinx pose. Beautiful. We're just gonna do a little quad stretch. You're gonna bring your hands down under your forehead and bend your right heel in towards your seat and go around and see if you can catch the foot. Make sure that your right knee is directly behind the right hip. And just draw that heel into your seat as much as you can here and breathe. Forehead can stay down or you can just push the floor away with your chest a little bit. And a little bit of a mini back bend as well here. One more round of breath to that quadricep. And without flicking the foot back, gently release it. And let's change sides. Left heel draws up. If this is a challenging position for you and you have a band or a towel, you can always wrap it around the foot if you're having a hard time getting that foot up there. Squeezing the glutes to protect your back here. And just find that breath.
trying to equal out that inhale and exhale, maybe still using that ocean breath. Last breath here. And then gently release that foot. Beautiful. Hands under the shoulders. Let's push back to child's pose. Knees wide. Sit back. Arms can be a little bit more active here. Lift the elbows off the floor. And then when you're ready, let's meet in down dog one more time. Lift those hips up to the corners of the ceiling and the wall. And then when you're ready, draw your right foot between your hands and lower your left, left knee down. If you need a little support under your left knee, double up the mat, put a towel down there or something. And then just walk to the outside of the mat on the right, both hands to the inside. Let it go with that hip flexor on the left. Take your right hand on the inside of your leg and just give me a little rotation here. Looking over the right shoulder. Getting a nice inner thigh stretch here, hip flexor stretch on the left side. You might open your foot up like a little book, come onto the outside edge of your foot there. And gently make your way back to the center, lift your back knee up, come back down dog, and go into the other side. Draw the left foot forward. Drop the knee down and walk your left foot to the side. So again, you're aiming to get this nice flat hip flexor feeling here. Start to turn your body towards your knee. Oh, it's so nice to see the sunshine out there today. Cloudless day, finally. You might open your foot to the outside edge here. Gently come back to the center, lift that back knee. Let's meet back in down dog. One more expression in this similar position. Right leg through to your 90-90 stretch. You come on up. And now bring that right foot forward until you can sink the hips towards the front of the room. Your hand can feel like it's pressing your kneecap away from the hip flexor. And maybe take that right arm out to the side and maybe rotate it behind you. You can use your hand here to give a little twist. Keep squeezing the glutes, keep it an active stretch. And gently unwind it, come back to the center. Bring your hands to the inside. Lift that back knee for your little runner's stretch. And then take your foot back to plank, down dog. And we'll go the other side. Left foot forward. Land into your 90-90. And then as you like, bring that foot forward and bring those hips forward. Back toes can be tucked or flat, whichever you feel balanced. You know, if you're a little wiggly, curl the toes under. Push that kneecap forward of the hip flexor. Draw the navel in strong and take your hand to the outside of that knee, arm out to a T and then gently rotate it behind you. And breathe. 
try to use your exhale to twist a little deeper towards that knee side. One more round of luscious breath here. Fuel the body for the day. And gently unwind. Beautiful. Bring your hands down. Bring that back leg up. Let's do down dog one more time. Hold your down dog for a little bit longer now. You can do alternating knee bends. You can go back out to the wide legged expression. Let's just focus in on the back here. How lengthened can you give me with that vertebrae? Beautiful. Two more rounds of breath. Let's roll through plank. Let's hold our plank here. We'd rather come down onto a forearm plank. If you would like to do a side plank, you're gonna bring your right hand under your heart, turn your feet, and hold your side plank. Do a count of eight and we'll switch sides. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and change sides if you're doing the side plank. Bring your hand pretty much underneath the shoulder here. Just turn. Feet face the way you're facing with your body. Eight, seven, six, five. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Three, two, and back to your plank, down to your knees. And let's just flip it over to our seat. Little bit of core activation, lay on down. Bring your legs up 90 degrees. So as, as if you are resting your shins on a table. You take both your hands onto the top of the thighs. And I feel like your knees are trying to press back and you're trying to press your legs from doing that. And just stay, you've got three rounds of breath here. You might straighten your arms. Try to push the belly button down to the flattened spine on the floor. Two rounds of breath here. Make it good long seconds. You might be quivering in the core, that's what we're going for. Last round of breath. And relax, hug it in, hug your knees. Rock on your back a little bit, give your lower back a massage. And then we're gonna do that with one leg extended. So come back to tabletop, bring both your hands to the right leg, stretch out your left leg, option to lift head, neck and shoulders. And just push into that thigh. Looking at your core, push it down to the floor. Find your breath, one more round of breath here. Really trying to put all those vertebrae on the floor and hug it in, relax. And then we have the other side. When you're ready, both hands to left leg, right leg reaches. You really want to fight between the pushing of the leg and the leg resisting your hands. One more round of breath here. Exhale, push the button down and hug it in and rock on your back. Oh, awesome job. We're going to finish off with a nice pine twist. If you have a block and you'd like to put it between your knees or you can put it onto the floor for your knees to have somewhere to go, take your arms out to a T and then drop your knees to the right. Beautiful. So your arms are beautifully out to a T. Your 
bottom foot is down. Don't worry if your legs are not all the way on the floor. That's why if you need that block for support, it helps. Turn your palms to face the ceiling. And then you're gonna bring your left hand all the way over to meet your right hand like it's clapping. Just bring it over, bring the hands together and then open it back up again. Three more times, just like that. Bring the hand up and over to clap. And open it back up again, like a book. Two more. Use your breath, inhales and exhales, last time. And hold it here. A nice stretch in your lower back on the left, your waistline on the left. And then very gently, mindfully bring those knees up through center. If you have the block, change the block to the other side and land the lead, lead knees to the left. Take a second to see if you feel any difference. If you've got any lower back sensitivity, one of these directions with the knees might feel something. Right hand comes off the floor and to meet the left one. And open it up three more times. You can follow the hand and look over towards that right side if you wish. Try to keep the knees quiet. And last time to bring the hands together and open. Beautiful. Spread across those angel wings in the front of your body. And then gently bring your knees back to the center. Lengthen them all the way down. Let them open out to the side. Bring your arms down and we'll meet in Shavasana. It's a little over 8.45, so if you have to go, then just take as long as you have in this Shavasana corpse pose. No effort, no effort in the breathing. And I will leave you right here. Thank you for supporting this lovely favorite class of mine. Don't get up, put your own little yoga music on and enjoy. I hope you feel amazing. Have a wonderful sunny Tuesday.